Setting up a pressure washer is easy and doesn't require any tools. This video will show the startup procedure for a gas-powered pressure washer. Make sure the pressure washer is on a flat surface and check to make sure the water strainer is in place and free of debris. Connect a garden hose to the washer and the other end to your water supply. Next, connect the male end of the high pressure hose that comes with the unit into the water outlet on the pressure washer. Slide the plug on the bottom of the gun assembly onto the other end of the hose, making sure the collar snaps into place. Select the high pressure nozzle best suited to your cleaning task. To install, pull back the collar on the end of the gun and wand assembly. Attach the nozzle and release the collar, making sure it snaps into place, securing the nozzle. Turn on the water. The pressure washer and hose will fill with water, so it is important to purge the system of excess air before starting the unit. Simply squeeze the trigger on the gun and the air will release. Before starting your gas-powered pressure washer, it is a good idea to check the oil and fuel levels. Now you are ready to start the pressure washer. First, make sure the fuel valve is in the open position. Next, move the choke to the left or the open position. Then, move the throttle to the left or the full throttle position. Turn the engine switch to the on position. Holding the gun assembly firmly in your hand, point it in a safe position and squeeze the trigger to release the pressure. While squeezing the trigger, pull the recoil on the engine. Then, close the choke. You are ready to use your pressure washer. When your project is complete, turn the engine switch to the off position. Remember, pressure has built up in the system, so you must squeeze the trigger gun to release the pressure after the unit has been shut off. Turn off your water supply. Disconnect the high pressure hose from the unit and gun, then disconnect the garden hose. Remove as much water as possible from the hoses. Remove the nozzle from the gun and return it to the holder on the unit.